The battle for conservatism in this country is no longer on the university campuses or in the chamber of House of Commons between Labour and Tories. No, it's at the heart of the Conservative government. Jacob Rees-Mogg is back with vengeance and he is hitting back at Liz Truss and her, the rest of the cabinet and what's going on with the energy policy. So this is really weird now because it's just a difference in opinion and policy differences. But uh, again, you've already seen the, 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 some of the videos I've, did, I've done today. There's so many stories coming out about the Tories infighting being done out in public. And that's the main, that's, that's the moral of the story. That's the main problem uh, rather than what I'm about to say, which is about Liz Truss and uh, Rhys Mark disagreeing on a key issue when it comes to energy. Now, energy and security and energy crisis is one of the biggest problems right now we're currently having. And the types of energy, you know, from solar to nuclear to oil to gas and extracting shell gas and wind and everything else, we get it. There are some that are expensive, some that are cheaper, some that are safe, some that are not. Right now, considering we have all these problems with energy and lack of it, it's probably best to have all options on the table, but stop with the green crap nonsense to use taxpayers' money to keep subsidizing it. That, as long as you don't do that, if it's just done by free market enterprise, have it. Have your solar, have your wind, and have everything else. Don't have it mandated. That's my problem. And this is the clash that we're currently having because right now, uh, the, the Liz Truss uh, and Rhys Mogg uh, have a disagreement on solar energy. And Rhys Mogg has actually come out to say, well, don't ban solar because the Liz Truss wants to get basically farmers uh, to, do, to do a, put a mandate on farmers and ban them from allowing them to use their farms to have uh, solar energy. And this is really not conservative. Rhys Mogg has actually said, has said that he would be delighted to have fracking in his back garden and has called those who oppose shell gas extraction Luddites and socialists. But he also believes it is unconservative to tell farmers what they can and cannot do with their own land when it comes to solar. Now, this is absolutely spot on. As long as we don't use government uh, mandate to, again, use taxpayers' money uh, to push for all these uh, green crap agenda if you don't do that, why are you doing it completely the opposite way? So, like, radically the other, the other way around. So, right now, Liz Truss wants to, as I said, um, force farmers and stop them from having any sort of solar panel in their farms. If, they, if they're going to do solar farms, let them do it. It's up to them. As long as, as I said, you don't really intervene. You don't get us to change our lifestyle and to uh, pay more money for that. If it's not for the actual... A net zero agenda, let them do it. Why are you banning them? Resmog is spot on. That is unconservative. It makes no sense. If you're going to withdraw the subsidies, that's fine. I'm happy. Absolutely happy. But don't ban people from doing whatever they want to do. Now, you have to, as Resmog said, you have to go with increasing uh, the, 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 the portfolio of energy sources. You, know, you go with uh, the, the extracting shell gas as well as, of course, using any other source that we have, oil and gas and wind and solar and everything else. Just don't do it mandated. Don't put random wind farms and stuff, windmills in random places that you shouldn't really put and make it even more dangerous. Don't do that. But free people should be able to do things freely. That's it. And local people have to decide. That's the main point. Local people need to give consent. Otherwise, you know, you can't just randomly put things in places that shouldn't exist. This battle of ideas is now at the heart of the government and it's not really for good reasons. They are fighting out in public and it's a bit embarrassing, not just for the Conservative Party or government, it's embarrassing for the whole country. It's not a good look. We'll take a quick break. We are going to be staying on a similar topic on what's going on with the government because Liz Truss uh, may be making uh, the biggest U-turn on of, uh, all U-turns in history of U-turns. <laughs> she might be actually raising taxes now. Yeah, subscribe to the channel. I'm my TCN, we are the media.